<laughs> Clint Eastwood? Uh, that's not my last name. <laughs> <laughs> Colors Kilo Alpha Seven Oscar Echo India. Awesome. And uh, what what do you uh, have here? This looks. Like, I, you were trying to explain it to me earlier, and it, it didn't it didn't catch. Uh, okay. Well, the FCC allows hams to use all above 275 gigahertz, and these operate nominally at 474 terahertz, otherwise known as red. And uh, this side is the transmitter lens or antenna, mm -hmm. as it were, and this side is the receive. And we have. With, uh, Three watt LEDs have successfully spanned 173 miles across the Utah desert with two-way voice communications. That's that's that, that's awesome. <laughs> right. Yeah. And that was with these are ten times as powerful, but will be only going a few hundred meters tonight. Mm -hmm. And since we aren't on the mountain, we will do something silly like point at that flagpole over there or the antenna pole and bounce the light off of that and have another radio over there and we'll be able to talk to each other without line of sight, direct mm -hmm. line of sight. Normally you would do a line of sight, but we can't do that. So you're transmitting voice over it? Voice, yes. And uh, you got two boxes, one uh -huh. is the transmitter and one is the receiver? Well, one half is the transmitter, the other half is the receiver. These are both transceiver capable boxes. Mm -hmm. And they're actually full duplex because when you shoot the beam out, unless there's a lot of dust, the receiver and the transmitter can't hear each other. So we have done many QSOs where we're just standing around talking to each other even though we might be 100 miles apart or, or something like that. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So um, the, the, is it the glass or is that a focusing lens? Oh, these use Fresnel lenses, which are essentially you take the curved part of the lens and you, you slice it away because you only need the, the parts that change. Mm -hmm. And we use those because they are cheap and flat and light, especially since this had to be, when we did the 173 mile stuff, this was carried on the back of another ham oh, who's wow. behind the camera to the top of a mountain in mm -hmm. the dark. I had this one in my car, I drove up there, but to the other mountain in northern Utah. But these are good enough for LEDs, which are not coherent, mm -hmm. and which is an advantage since you don't have the coherency breaking up and causing flickering or scintillation. And LEDs are immune to that for the most part. And since they're not lasers, you can use inaccurate but good enough lenses to collimate a beam so the energy goes straight rather than spreads everywhere. So these, uh, the effective radiated power of these is, is tens of kilowatts, if you were to, to think of antenna terms. Mm -hmm. A few watts of light in, tens of kilowatts, effective rated power because of the gain of the lenses because they're not spread out. That's, that's pretty cool. And where can we go to find out more information about this project? Uh, the website modulatedlight.org, modulatedlight.org. All right, thank you very much for well, taking the you. time. I okay. appreciate it. Okay, K7RJ, K7RJ, K7OEI, Delta November 23. K7OEI, K7RJ, uh, DN20, D, DN what? 23. D, uh, Delta November 23, over. Copy your Delta November 23. Uh, yeah, so, so we'll do the feedback. There we go. Um, I'm on 550 terahertz, and I think you're on 470. Three, 472. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> two, two, two widely spaced frequencies all in the same band. Well, I'm still running push the talk, of course, because you see green. But yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know what the SWR this transmitter is, but I'm seeing a lot of reflected power off the cactus. Let's see. Uh, let's see. It's a wire of QSO, I guess that's what it is. I wonder if that that could be a thing. You know, what all the wires? WAS. <laughs> Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. You can support me on Patreon. There is a link in the description below. And to all my tankers out there, go forth and conquer.